Hello and welcome to the Paul Cantor Benning Show presented by Buffalo Wobblings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head men's lacrosse coach Paul Cantor Benning. Coach, um, you played Gettysburg here on Saturday night. Um, another very close game, unfortunately one that um, you know they made a couple of plays late and um, you know didn't go your way ultimately in the one loss column. But uh, kind of take us through that game. Well, I thought we played pretty well. You know, we played another top five team in in Gettysburg, and I thought we did a really good job. We played tough and especially defensively playing without two of our starting defensemen who were out for a little while here and down the Fazio and Dylan Harris. But I thought the young guys we played, Al Falco and, and McGaw and McCarthy and uh, all those guys and um, and uh, Austin Howard played so well, it really gave us a chance. It did a great job. But, you know, they, we just made a little mental mistake there at the end. And we have a, a man up play with a shot. We got a score with about a minute 15 left. That would have put us up too. We just missed it. And then, unfortunately, we make a little, we go early there and uh, we take a, a probably not the greatest of shots. We probably, yeah. probably do it a little bit differently and uh, unfortunately but Ethan uh, you know he's played so well for us all year you know he took that shot and he's the reason we're there and they're just mistakes you know we got a yeah. lot of young kids and I think we only play eight upperclassmen all together and so um you know we, they made a play and they stuck one uh, at the end there in regulation kid number seven makes a really hard play and and then they made a tough play in overtime but it was a good game and you know I think both teams played really hard and you know we're encouraged where we are we love to be you know we're 17 seconds from being 2-0 right but um uh, but we got to keep going and we have another tall task this week but I think the team we're doing a lot of the right things we just got to do some of the smaller things a little bit better. Is that the message to the team? Obviously, with such a young team, is to kind of hey, you guys are in these games with two of the top teams in the country. We just got to clean some things up, and we'll be right there. Yeah, and I think that is. You know, I think we just got to start making plays to win games and start starting to make plays to lose games. And I think that you know, just in the time and when the games are on the line, just our youth has shown at times. But that's no excuse. You know, we really just have right. to make a couple better decisions there. And uh, our schedule doesn't allow us for any breaks, so we got to play another really tough team coming up who uh, in Salisbury on Saturday, who's uh, lost two straight so it'll be two teams that are really fighting for something and yeah. should be another great game yeah are you guys so obviously the game last year you know inclement weather weren't able to play Salisbury so kind of back after a one-year hiatus so you guys kind of chomp at the bit a little bit to uh, play well, I think you know there's another game on our schedule you know we still got to play uh <laughs> you still got to play Dickinson and oh, and uh York and um Cabrini and Tufts on our on our schedule along with Lynchburg and Stevens who are all doing we're all really good teams so but we're excited to play them again as they're I'm sure they're excited to play us again and it's going to be a, a big a big game and uh, we're, you know, we're looking forward to getting after it. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, I uh, wish you the best of luck this week, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right. We appreciate it. All right. For Paul Cantabene, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Paul Cantabene Show.